Alright guys, so it's Zoss back with some more Madden 13 Connected Careers Mode. But this video, I have some announcement to make uh, on this series. We're not going to have play-by-play -play commentary at all. Maybe maybe a little bit here and there. But play-by-play -play kind of ruins the aspect of the game because we have uh, commentators in the background that's doing it for us and, uh, as in the game audio. And I really that's one thing I don't like. Um, but I really do love sports commentators and big pass uh, to Victor Cruz right there from Eli Manning. And I'm definitely thinking about this game. If I lose my first game of the, of the season, I'm going, to, I'm going to be pretty hurt. And to be honest, I was expecting to lose this game. You guys will see the ending at the end of this video. But I was expecting to lose this game. Guess because they have so many threats on this team, on this offense, on this defense, that I was nervous, man. I mean, this team is at least three times as, as good as mine because they have a nice defense as in um, Jason Pierre-Paul, Justin Tuck. All those guys make up that defensive line. And I'm really, really scared about this team. And there's one thing I need to, to fix on my team. We need some linebackers. Uh, we need someone to be able to stop the run because in the f some future videos, um, I'm, not, I'm going to tell you right now, next uh, next video I'm probably going to see on this series is against the Cowboys, and they they milk that run game. They milk it. They milk it. They milk it. Uh, and I'm, I get really, really, really scared because I really don't have any huge defensive players on our team, uh, as especially linebackers. And, and to be honest, I mainly I blitz some of my linebackers, but they just can't. They just can't make those tackles. They can't. And I get scared. And nice tackle right there by the Buccaneers defense. And I'm so happy about my defense can actually bring these guys down and stop them sometimes. Because that was going to be a, a really easy first down. But he ends up stopping them. Um, nice spin move by Amaya Bradshaw. Uh, but as I said before, this team is definitely threatening. They, they can. They uh, look at that. See, look at these run games. Uh, the games like that are there. It's just a five-yard game, but two five-yard games equals. And look, this is what I'm, what I'm talking about right there. My defense cannot keep up with that speed of a mob Bradshaw, and it's, especially if I get up to to faster faster receivers like that, we're not going to have a chance. I mean, you pitch it out to the outside outside, and uh, that the offense gets a few blocks. My defense isn't going to have a chance of stopping these guys. They're going to be for, going to the touchdown. Uh, and and I, I, that's one thing we need to do. Maybe we should we could make some trades, or maybe we should do something. But we definitely need some some linebackers to be able to stop that run. And nice pass to Mike Williams, the best receiver on my team. But I'm telling you guys about some threats that some of you guys probably don't know about. Dallas Clark. Um, we're gonna get into Dallas Clark. This guy is old, but he definitely um definitely make me happy that I have this guy on my team. He's really good at blocking uh, blocking for Lake Garrett Blunt. And um, he's definitely good at that. But another aspect of his game is, is catching the ball. This guy can catch the ball. I know he's old, but this guy has a really good, huge play in the next video. You guys will see. They're actually going to win me the game. And I'm definitely going to keep him until he retires, to be honest. Or until he stops producing. But to be honest, I, I don't see any, as he's playing right now, the only way he can, look at this pass. Look at this one. I'm talking about Dallas Clark right there. Nice catch and run. And I thought he was injured right there, but he's not. But. Uh, this guy is definitely a keeper, and I love my tight ends. To be honest, they can, I just love my tight ends. I definitely probably will pay them more than probably a, a, a receiver. To be honest, because they have definitely have the strengths that I am looking for. They can block, they can catch. But the next player, um, he's not even a starter. We're talking about Jordan Shipley, guys. Uh, this guy is a nice punt returner. Uh, he he's a decent receiver. But this guy's definitely a threat for this team. I mean, uh, let's say he's definitely going to be a good backup. I wouldn't say he's... Look at that user. That user. But uh, he's definitely not uh, a starter caliber. But, well, he's definitely not a star player or a star receiver. A star receiver for this team. But he definitely can show his strength in, in positions. And maybe if some of my receivers freak up or maybe if they mess up, we definitely can st try starting him in a game or few. Uh, but nice little screen pass uh, to LeGarrette. But showing his strength and getting up to the middle of the field. But uh, the next play I'm talking about is uh is Mike Williams. Everyone knows about Mike Williams, but his uh his overall definitely dropped a few in this in, in Madden 13, but I really am liking this guy. Oh, look at this catch. Uh, and he ends up not getting the first down. A nice pass uh, by Eli Manning. Well, nice for me because he does, ends up not getting it. A nice tackle by our defense. And pass to LeGarrette Blunt. And he shows his nice little spin move up the middle. But um, I forgot the dude's name. I can't believe my, my mind just went blank. It's going to like, Rossi come like 10 seconds. Uh, Martin. I forgot his name. Uh, but he definitely is a nice back to have. 
to be honest. He definitely has that that um, speed that we don't have uh, in our offense. And since I don't think he, I think he's uh, faster than Legarrette Blunt. He's definitely a nice third down back. He well, he definitely could be a starter on this team to be honest. He's uh, he, I don't think he's gonna be traded anytime soon just because he's a rookie and just because uh, he's fast. And he has definitely has that strength. He's definitely a starter caliber for this team. And maybe, no, we could maybe we should trade Legarrette Blunt. I don't know, but we definitely need some defensive players on this team because we're 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 definitely not a defensive team. To be honest, we're we're more of an offense. And you see, uh, Josh Freeman throwing no interceptions, and this guy this is actually a pick six. And I get really nervous about this because this means that these guys are tied up with us again, and this means that we're able to lose this game. By silly mistakes like that. And that's one thing I do a lot. And Jordan Shipley, as I said before, gets a nice little catch right there. But as I said before, uh, I definitely am not the best passer in this game. I definitely rush my passes just because I get the I, I be getting rushed. And you gotta see Jordan Shipley had a nice that could have either been a touchdown. Oh, Doug Martin. I knew it was gonna come to my mind. Doug Martin, uh, as in my uh my, my second straight running back. This guy's a rookie, a straight up monster, and I really am liking him so far. Um, I definitely haven't heard anything about him in this game, but he's definitely a really nice uh, running back to have, a really nice second end. Look at that pass, man. Um, I definitely need to settle down because I throw a lot of interceptions, and you guys may think that's horrible, but Josh Freeman actually broke a passing record for this game, uh, and I've really been loving that. I think he had like 500 and something yards. But I think he's just broken for the season. But I'm not sure if that's a, uh, a record. But hopefully it's a record. Man, that's nice with Josh. But uh, look at this pass to Jackson. Uh, down the sideline. And he gets a touchdown. Um, this guy actually uh, gets the game winning touchdown right here. And I'm loving this guy. Straight pass down the middle. And he gets it, man. Guys, I don't know how hype I was about that pass. I was about to shit myself. But this series, this video is over. 579 passing yards, NFL, new NFL record. But I'm um, hoping you guys enjoyed this series. I'm out, and peace.